high school and, and what made you decide to walk on to Notre Dame and think you could even do it? I mean, you weren't, obviously you weren't trying to be a Rudy story, you were trying right. to really play. Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> so in high school, I don't know, I wasn't getting very many looks. I didn't have really anything to put on film for my junior year or my sophomore year for that matter. Um, I only had 12 catches in high school. but my Total? Senior, yes, sir. Um, How is that possible? We ran the uh, the triple option. Um, when Malik Zaire was there my sophomore year, we threw a bit more, but I was a sophomore and you know didn't have that big a role, so I had a couple there. Um, but yeah, not not a big passing offense, so I had to find my way in uh, the return game is how I got some attention from coaches. But um, I didn't have any offers or anything. I would have some D3 schools come in to talk to me at school. And then um, some of my coaches in high school helped me out a lot with getting me in touch with some bigger schools. So I ended up getting some preferred walk-on looks at places like Miami, Ohio, and Pittsburgh and Wisconsin, and then ultimately here. Um, it really helped that my teammate Nick Coleman in high school, who's my teammate now, he was committed to Notre Dame, and Coach Kelly and Coach Elston, they came to see him um, at our school and my uh, head football coach in high school introduced me to them and um, coach offered me the opportunity to apply and walk on and I did and um, like you said what, uh, what made me decide to do it is um, you know it's such a hard school to pass up such a hard football program to pass up and I had a lot of talks with my parents and my dad in particular who was instilling that confidence in me that I could come here and like you said not just be a Rudy story and trying to play um, a significant role eventually. Did you have some uh, friends and confidence look at you say, I mean, I, we, we really like you a lot, but you're insane. No, I've got I've got a great support group around me, and everybody's everybody's always been very excited for me, and and they still would be even if even if things hadn't gone the way that they have now. Um, you know, I've never never had any friends. I've had some people tell me, but not not my friends. Because if you, if, you, if you lined up with, with some of these other big receivers, you, you'd, you'd be the answer question. Okay, you see all these guys lined up. Which one does not belong? And, and, it, and it seems like if you what I guess what advantages are you able to uh, to generate exercise? Well, I mean, I've always been an undersized guy, and I mean, I've just grown up having to work through that. So um, I would say my speed and quickness is something that helps me a lot, and um, I've always had to work, I think, a little harder to to be able to insert myself into roles, being um, the size that I am. But I don't see it as too much of a hindrance. Coach has credited you with like amazing weight uh, weightlifting gains. So do you have any like measurables? I went from X to Y in, in this in this lift, or, or A to B in this one. Um, we don't really max out a ton. We do a lot of high rep stuff at high weight. So I would just say that um, I was able to keep going up in weight while doing the same reps or more reps.